Hey guys, I was just in LA last week and it's just one of my favorite places in the whole world and of course it means shopping, they've got so much great stuff there, they have um, a new NARS boutique there as well, um, Makeup Forever, stuff like that and being a makeup artist I'd love to go check out stuff like that. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. So this is a good, um, a good bit of makeup. A lot of it is um, stuff that I bought for Makeup Forever because of the fact that I went to a class by them and I had to pick up stuff to be worth the price that I paid for the class. And the rest is NARS stuff. I think you guys will enjoy this, so keep watching. I'm also going to show you guys um, a few quick things that I picked up in terms of clothing and fashion. So I thought I'd get started with the Makeup Forever stuff first. So I picked up my normal Smoky Lash Mascara. I got two of them because you guys know that I love this. And I ran out of my old one, so I definitely wanted to stock up on that. I didn't want to get too many. It's a drier formula anyway, and then if it dries up, it would just be a waste of money and it's so expensive. So I only got two, one for right now and then one for when that one's over. Then I also got a, well, an aqua brow. This is in the color 30. It is, I think, right smack dab in the middle of their range. They have like really light ones, really dark, and I really like this one. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's a product that I've known about for a long time, but it looked really scary. I didn't want to paint on my brows with, you know, this color. And I just thought it would be really unnatural looking, but I've actually got it on right now, and I don't think it looks that unnatural. This is also something that you can use with the brow stencils that I showed you guys um, about earlier. And 30 is a really great color for me. It's a dark brown. That's actually what it looks like on my hand. And they have a 40, which is a little bit darker. It's almost a jet black, but it's not. It's dark brown. And then they have a 50, which is um, like the dark jet black. So it's a really great product. I like this one a lot. Then I got an eyeliner. This is the Waterproof Eyeliner by them. This one is proving to be a huge pain to put on, to be completely honest. It's like that, and it doesn't have an applicator and stuff, and I just figured, oh, I'll just use it with a brush all the time, but now it ends up being where, if you're on the go, to have two things with you all the time. You have this plus a brush, and it's not as easy and precise and all that kind of stuff, so I'm not really enjoying that too much. Then, I also got... I have really been wanting to get the HD foundation for the longest time. I use it in my kit, and I always have... Um, and then I can mix those colors to make it my skin color, but I wanted to get one that I just think would work And so I was matched with the 160 very different than what I thought I was leaning towards the 153 But it was really 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 yellow and I didn't think that was right for me So I got the 160 and they actually told me to get a really pretty color for my skin to mix this plus my uh, Matte velvet plus color 65 to get a really good uh, color. I did that once while I was in LA it did look really pretty but this is just a foundation that doesn't last as long on my skin, so it's not something that I can use all the time, but I think just for a night out and just for photography, I think this would be a great product. Then my next stop was NARS, where I picked up quite a bit of stuff, I guess. Um, so I had heard a lot about their Radiant Concealer is their newest product, and I am such a huge concealer and foundation junkie. That's just my favorite part of makeup. So I knew that I would be getting a bunch of these. I just didn't know which colors, so... I got three, these ones right here. They are three that work in this order. So this one right here is the lightest one. Oh no, sorry, it's this order right here. Lightest to darkest. So this one right here is ginger. It is medium too, and this is what I use for my under eye area today. Then biscuit is a color that I would use if I wanna get a pretty under eye area that's not so much lighter. This would be like my normal um, under eye area. This would be, I think, equivalent to my uh, matte pro long wear on w35 then this one is in the color caramel and this is really great for my skin so i use this all over um not as a foundation or anything like that just to spot treat um little you know acne and pigmentation stuff like that which is really good for that these are so highly pigmented i haven't seen a concealer like this in a long time it is pure pigment um it can tend to sort of crease a little bit so you have to make sure you're wearing a lot of good under eye cream to make sure it stays on. But it's an amazing product nonetheless. I will be doing a review on this. I did film a video on this as well to show you guys how to hunt, um, highlight and uh, make your under eye area just look brighter. So you guys will see that soon as well if you have not seen it already. Then I also got Casino Bronzer. So this is one that I've known about for a very long time and I tried it out here in Atlanta and I just loved it. But I had bought my Guaralan one not too long ago. So I didn't feel right getting this one so soon after, but when on vacation, you should do what you want. So I went to the Nars store and I got this. This is Casino, and I love it. I'm wearing this right now, 
just to contour a little bit. I have it on like the top of my hairline, stuff like that, and I really like it. It is a lot more pigmented than the Guerlain one in terms of just putting your brush into this, you get a lot more product immediately. So I think that just is the case with all the NARS products, and that's what I love about them. All of their stuff is so highly pigmented, it's not stuff that you have to like work with to get it to, you know, have an effect. So I really do like that one. And then I also got a multiple I've had. I have a different multiple, it's a bronzer multiple that I use in my kit, but I got South Beach, which is one that I have tried before, and just to highlight. Um, I showed her a picture of this blush look that I really liked, and she told me to put this on first and layer some blushes on top. So once I start to do that on myself, I'll show you guys how to do that. So this is a product that you can use in your eyes, cheeks, lips, whatever you want. It is cream, and I don't know, it's, it's a lot of product. So we'll see how that one works out. And then I also got this right here. This is a translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder. This is also a relatively new product. It is one where they have... Um, they have this loose version, they also have, you know, a set version, and I'd heard a lot about these. These apparently photograph really well, and it's just like the MAC Prep and Prime, but it just photographs better, and it's a finishing powder, so you're supposed to put on a very little amount, but with the MAC, I've set it on with a powder puff. With this one, I've only used it with a brush so far, so I can't tell you much about its oil control properties or anything like that, but I can tell you it photographs very well, so we'll see um, how far I get with this. Then, um, in terms of MAC stuff, I really didn't buy much. I just bought like certain essentials that I needed. I ran out of my lingering brow pencil again. This thing is really starting to piss me off because it just runs out a lot. So, if you guys know a different product that you think I could use and like, then please let me know. I, I got the Aqua Brow, but it's not as convenient as something like this would be. So, let me know if you guys um, know of something. I also ran out of my Prep and Prime powder finally. With the amount that I used this, it had to happen, and so I got a replacement. I got Hush Cream Color Base, and you guys will see in a tutorial what I do with this. It's really, really nice. I also got the Pro Longwear Concealer in an NW30. A lot of you guys have been telling me how your NW35 is oxidizing, stuff like that. Mine doesn't oxidize, but I did want to get something that's a little bit lighter, just to see if I can do a sort of um, highlighted under eye area with this as opposed to the NAR, just to kind of see different looks. And then I have gone to so many MAC master, uh, master classes before, and I've heard so much about their favorite foundation, which is the full cover. And unfortunately, they don't have my skin color in it, so I got the NW45, which now is just looking crazy dark to me. In the store, it didn't look that dark, but now it's just looking like it is not going to suit me at all. But I think I can just mix this with the other full cover that I have, which is C3, which is much lighter and very yellow. So we'll see what I can get in terms of that. Then I went to Nigel's Beauty Emporium and I got a bunch of stuff from there. So let me show you what I got from there. So I picked up two colors in the Graftobian HD Cream Foundation. These are the two that I feel like I end up using the most in my kit. And I wanted to get replacements because I have the palettes and those are running out now. So I wanted to get the colors that I know I use a lot. This one right here is the color Sunlit Linen. It's probably about two shades lighter than my skin color in terms of in that palette. Then this one is Buttermilk. This is the shade that's light, that's right before Desert Sand, which is my color. So I got those two. And then I wanted to get some Beauty So Clean stuff. I was going to order it online, but then since I was going to California, I just didn't want to pay for shipping, so I got it from there. So I got the Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist just in like, you know, a small pocket version, just because I feel like wherever I go, people want me to do their makeup, and all that I bring is my own, so I kind of want to be sanitary about it without saying no. So then I also got the big one because I was running out of that one as well. So this normal stuff. And I got a beauty blender cleanser. I was in between this and um, the actual like round version which I have right now. But that was a lot more expensive and I felt like this has a lot more products. So I'll tell you guys how I feel about this because right now I have the round version that's almost out but I love it. It is incredible. Then I also got these two products. This is not from LA. I had ordered this from Outlook online before I left and I finally got it in. These are from Embryo Lease. I've heard so much about this. They're so expensive. So I didn't know if it would be worth it, but being on Outlook, it was a lot cheaper. So I wanted to take the plunge. This is basically like my Bioderma non-rinse um, face cleanser. This is their version. I don't know if it's for dry skin, oily skin, whatever. It's the only version that they had on there, so I got that. And it is called the Micellar Lotion. Soothing and cleansing makeup remover. Face, eyes, lips, no rinsing necessary. And then I also got the Hydra Matte Emulsion. This is one, this is a lotion, and I've known about this for a very long time, but it's like almost $50. And 
and I did not want to spend that. Not when I have lotions that work just fine, but it was so cheap on Outlooks I finally got it. And it says, Hydra Matte Emulsion, Freshness Care for Normal and Mixed Skins. I guess mixed is supposed to be um, oily, dry, that type of thing. But I really like this. It just has so much fragrance to it. Well, not so much. Normal people, I think that it wouldn't be that much. But to me, it is a lot. Because you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of fragrances. So that is my makeup for this haul. Let me show you guys what I got in terms of fashion. So as far as the fashion part goes, I really didn't buy too many clothes, but here are some that I did get. This is just a pair of leather leggings from Topshop. I love Topshop. I love their fashion. It's just that it ends up being kind of expensive sometimes. I like to get things that I really know are going to work and that I would actually wear. So I got these. I already have a pair of leather leggings from Forever 21, but those just, I don't know, they have lines on it. When you sit on it, it really hurts. So I wanted to get some that I really like and that are just totally um, normal, just really plain. So I got that. And then also from Topshop, this is my favorite thing that I got. It is this adorable white romper. So I just think this is so, so cute, so summery. It's just gorgeous. So on the bottom, of course, it's lace, so it does have lining in it, so you shouldn't be able to see anything, but the top doesn't. So you could wear like a bralette or just a bra that's not going to really show out of it. But I just loved this. So cute. Then, one of my favorite places to shop, just in general, or just to be inside, is Nordstrom. I just think that it's just such a comfortable shopping experience, and I love their savvy section. It's basically like their trend section where the things are not that expensive because it's supposed to be trendy, so it's not stuff that you're going to like wear forever. Um, so I got this right here, which is a skirt. It's a maxi. I've never had a maxi skirt before, but if you look carefully, it's got lining in it to wear... It's got a pair of shorts that end right here, so it's going to be bare below that. And I've never in my life worn something like this, which I'm super excited about. And it also has this little slit down the side, so it's super sexy. I think it would look so good with like a gray tank top or a t-shirt or something really, really casual. And it's so interesting because I saw this girl in the shoe department who was wearing this skirt. And I loved it, but I didn't ask her what she was wearing. And then I happened to go upstairs to the savvy section and I saw the same skirt, so that worked out. And then I got this cute little top right here. I actually wore this yesterday, so that's why it's inside out. Um, it's a little collared shirt right here, and you tie it at the bottom. And stuff like this is so in season right now. People are wearing things like this all the time. And it looks so cute. It's actually like the perfect length. When you tie it up, it shows a little bit of your midriff, but it's so cute and so just like feminine. So I wore this yesterday to a bar, and... I don't know, I love stuff like this. It's cotton, it's casual, it's simple. I just love stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys have any questions about the stuff that I bought, post down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Bye!